Today I'm going to show you how to do a leak down test. So some of you might remember this motor from a previous video I just did where I replaced the intake gaskets. Uh, so I'm having a lot of problems since then. Coolant seems to be leaking into the valley and I'm not sure where it's coming from because there's not an intake leak in terms of the fuel trims are still positive. So I'm doing a leak down test to sort of figure out what's going on. I figured I'll show you. Basically what the leak down test consists of is <clears throat> you get yourself a leak down tester. You get these at Harbor Freight Tools. First thing we're going to do is remove a spark plug. All right, now in the leak down test kit, came with this hose that connects to it. We're gonna thread this down into the spark plug hole. So now we're gonna attach the other end of the hose to the compression tester. This line has uh, compressed air, and uh, we have a valve here. And this valve controls how much air goes into um, goes through the tester and into the cylinder. Basically what we're, going, what we're going to do is we're going to put the piston at top dead center compression stroke. So it's going to be at the point where the spark plug would fire and there should be no leakage. The, all, both valves should be closed and um, this is where we're going to uh, place the cylinder right now. After we do that we're going to send the compressed air through here into the cylinder and listen to see where it leaks out from. Um, if you open the oil filler and hear air coming from there, then that means it's leaking past the, the piston rings going down to the bottom end of the engine. If you hear it in the intake manifold or throttle body, whatever, um, it means it's going, it's going past the uh, intake valve. If you hear it in the exhaust, it's going past the exhaust valve. I am testing for a cracked block, so uh, I'm just looking for any sort of leaks. I've already had. 33% leakage on this on cylinder number two and 75% uh, leakage on cylinder number three. So this engine isn't looking too good. You have the hose in here. I'm going to rotate the engine by hand using this wrench on a crank bolt. And I'm going to put this hose literally like in my ear. And whenever it starts to blow air out, that's when I'm going to stop because that means it's on its compression stroke and uh, that's that top dead center. Okay, there we go. I heard it come out. So now we know it's on top dead center compression strip. Okay, so now we hook the hose up to our tester here. Okay, now we're going to put pressure into the cylinder. You want to do this slowly because the piston could move under the pressure. Just put it at 50. And I hear it coming through the intake. We have 10% <clears throat> leakage is considered acceptable, if I remember correctly. So right now we're at over 20% leakage. Let's see if you can hear this. Coming out of the intake. I don't know if you could see that, but there is, you could see coolant bubbling from under the intake valve when I take the intake off. See that bubbling of coolant? That is where the leak is. Okay, so now that I have some evidence, uh, that it could be a cracked block. I'm just going to continue with the rest of the cylinders. You would do them all the exact same way. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>